the first things people ask when they see one of the boats we've restored is who does your varnish and what varnish are you using? There is a lot to doing the perfect varnish job. I will share with you some of the basics in this video. We use mostly tongue oil base marine varnish. The aesthetic beauty that can be achieved by this type of varnish hasn't been yet matched. Several of the paint companies are still formulating this varnish. One of our favorites is Waterlocks. They have not changed their formula for over a hundred years. They are very consistent in their batches so that we always know how it's going to flow out and cure in the different weather conditions. No matter which clear coating you choose to use, the sun and the water will eventually get the better of it and it will have to be stripped back to bare wood. We will start with this because properly prepping the wood is a must. With the oil-based varnishes, they can easily be removed with just a little heat and a sharp scraper without damaging the wood. The two-part urethanes and epoxies are much harder and must be removed with chemical strippers. Notice here when we heat the varnish that we start at the bottom and work up. This helps avoid scorching. We always use a good sharp scraper and never scrape across the grain. We have an arsenal of scrapers of different shapes and sizes to get the job done. Any cut or scratch across the grain will show up in the varnish job. For this reason, we never use orbital sanders on bare wood. You can see here the swirl scratches left behind by an orbital sander. We always sand with the grain and we work down through the grits from 80 to 100 to 120, 150 and down sometimes to 220 to make sure there are no scratch marks in the wood. It is also important when sanding to achieve fairness. We often use blocks and profile sanders to accomplish this. Hard edges and corners won't hold varnish. For this reason we ease all the edges to about a 1 8 radius. To even out the color of the wood and enhance the grain, we sometimes add a non-grain raising dye stain. We first apply two or three coats of the Waterlocks Marine Sealer. This sealer is a different formulation than their varnish and makes for a much better substrate than just thin down varnish. Also, it doesn't require sanding between coats. We then start applying coats of the high gloss varnish. We always use a gloss coating for buildup. Satin or flat coatings can become foggy when multiple coats are applied. Every coat of varnish is important. We sand between each coat thoroughly with 220 or 320. We let the varnish dry for 24 or 48 hours between coats. It may take 9 or 10 coats of varnish before the grain is filled. Lately, we have been using epoxy clear coatings to speed up this process. We only use the epoxy for buildup coats. We always start and finish with the tongue oil base varnish. Once the grain is filled, we can carefully sand it smooth and go for the final finish coat. You will notice here that Jose doesn't overbrush the varnish. He simply puts it on and brushes into the wet. An even film of varnish will level itself as it dries. If you try to brush the drying varnish, the brush marks will stay in it. For this reason, if you've missed a spot, don't go back. Just let the varnish dry and try not to leave holidays in the next coat. The size of the brush is also very important. In order to keep a wet edge on large areas, we sometimes use a 3 or 4 inch brush and a roller. You can see here that Jose is juggling two brushes and the varnish bucket in order to get the varnish on consistently. There will be no runs, drips, curtains, or alligators in this job. We oftentimes use tape at certain stop points. In this way we don't have to take the time to cut in. 
We then very carefully remove the tape before the varnish is dry so that there's no tape line. We use very high quality natural bristle brushes. These brushes are expensive, but with proper care and maintenance, they will last a long time. Immediately after each use, the brushes and the varnish buckets are thoroughly cleaned. We wash the brushes in 100% mineral spirits, diesel fuel, or kerosene. The brush wash is kept in five gallon containers. The brushes go through a three stage wash cycle. Each time the brush is thoroughly washed, working all the varnish out of the bristles. Only the last rinse is done with clean solvent. Overnight, the solids stick to the side of the bucket, leaving it clear in the center, so we can use this solvent over and over again. So that there's no evaporation, the buckets are kept covered. The brush is then carefully wrapped in aluminum foil. This keeps the brush from drying out and keeps the bristles straight. These are just a few of the tricks and techniques we use when applying marine coatings. Your support helps us in producing more of these videos. Please don't forget to subscribe, share with your friends, and become a member of the Maritime Preservation Trust.